Good afternoon everyone. Today I am in North Georgia in this beautiful stunning habitat. It is the second half of February right now and we got a beautiful beautiful day. Temps are in the upper 60s, nice and sunny. Just a little bit of wind but other than that perfect conditions and I'm just out here herping looking for stuff and hopefully we can find some cool things. Looks like we got a young, I think this is, might be a young slimy salamander. It's our, yeah, that looks like a young slimy salamander to me. That's our first herp of the day. Cool find. So I have a green anole, our second one of the year. This guy is basking up a tree. He was on the ground, then he just shot right up the tree. So I'll see if I can get some better footage of him, but... Pretty cool, a lizard and a salamander right next to each other. Well, this log seems to have potential. It's pretty dry. And I don't see anything under there. Well, there is our second slimy salamander of the day. So two slimy salamanders and a green anole. Pretty good start so far. Well, I just flipped a huge northern slimy salamander. Third slimy salamander at this spot. And this one is, as you can see, it's pretty big. I don't wanna to touch it because it's just gonna blast me with that noxious slime that comes out of their tails and it's a good way to get your hand nice and sticky, but there he is right there. Really cool, three slimy salamanders on the day. So here is slimy salamander number four, right next to slimy salamander number three. So two big adult slimy salamanders underneath this log here. Wow, really stunning. Four slimy salamanders and a green and all. I can't complain. Well, I just flipped this under the log. It looks like something out of a horror film. Some type of invertebrate larvae, but look how big it is. That's it compared to my hand. Wow, really stunning. Or I guess terrifying, depending on if you're an entomologist or not. So I came to the edge over here and I looked to my right and that looks like the vertebrae a vertebrae bone of something. I have no idea what it is, but it literally is just lying here on that root system, I guess. Pretty cool. Well, good night, everyone. Uh, we are here in North Georgia. I'm just walking around some wetlands that are really close to my house. Actually didn't even have to drive anywhere. And it's a really warm night, and I've been hearing frogs calling for a while, so I figured I'd go out, and basically here's my camera here, and I've been just walking around in the edges of these wetlands and photographing any frogs I can find. So, for example, right here, that is a spring peeper. So I was filming this guy along with some other spring peepers that are calling and some other frogs, so... I'll show you some of the footage that I've gotten. Okay, people, I just road cruise. I thought this snake was dead. I'm pretty sure that this is a gray rat snake. An adult gray rat snake just here on this dirt road. 
temps didn't even hit 70 today, and yet this guy was out. We're here in South Georgia, so that's pretty cool. So here's another look at the gray rat snake. I thought it got clipped, but it, it seems to be fine. It's very cold right now. So I'm surprised that there was a snake moving at this time of the day. Just take a look at that. Really stunning. Now rat snakes have the really interesting complexes. Um, obviously there's the eastern rat snake and there's like, within the eastern rat snake, there's like the yellow rat snake, the black rat snake, the Everglades rat, but gray rats are technically their own species, but they do integrate with the other, um, with eastern rats. So yeah, rat snake taxonomy is a little complicated, but this is a gray rat and he's just constricted himself around my hand right here. So I'm going to let this guy go, um, probably into some of this vegetate, vegetative area over here. And yeah, really cool. First snake in hand in 2024, and it's a gray rat snake. All right, I'm putting him at the base of this tree. This snake is like completely lethargic right now. So we'll just leave him be, and we'll keep on going. But really cool. Great to get a snake in hand this year. Well... And another trip to South Georgia and another dog, but it's not a gas station dog, it's just a South Georgia dog. All right, I got uh, some prickly pear impaled into my leg. Yeah, that does not feel good. <laughs> 